how to use the place on top function in DaVinci Resolve 18.6. Inside your project's edit window, hold in control or command if you're a Mac user and press I to insert a media file into your project. Identify your clip inside the media pool master bin and select this. Note that the grey playhead is positioned at the start of the empty timeline. With the clip selected, press F12 to have this placed on the edit timeline. Note how the playhead has changed red and has shifted to the end of our newly inserted clip. If I go to select the clip thumbnail inside the media pool master bin and press F12 once again, the clip will be inserted once again on the lower video and audio track directly from the position where the red playhead was positioned. If I now reposition the red playhead at the start of the second inserted clip existing on video track 1 and audio track 1 and press F12 once again, a brand new video and audio track will open up vertically on the timeline, enabling your new media file to be inserted. Since the red playhead was positioned at the start of the media clip on video track 1 and audio track 1, the newly inserted copy has been positioned above this on video track 2 and audio track 2. If we were to reposition the red playhead with empty space between this and the subsequent clip, such as the fourth copy of clip 4 here for example, and press F12, the fifth copy is still positioned above the final clip on video track 2 and audio track 2, as the latter section of the newly inserted fifth clip here overlaps the start of the fourth and final clip on our timeline, which appears on the track below. If I were to position the fourth copy of the clip almost 14 seconds away from the end of the second and third copy on the timeline, when I press F12 again when the red playhead is positioned at the end of the second and third clip, since the duration of this clip from the media pool is just over 9 seconds, the fifth copy of the clip is inserted on the same track as the last one on the timeline here, and is parallel horizontally, since the fifth copy is not long enough to overlap the fourth copy. Holding in shift and pressing F12 on the other hand, will result in the media clip being appended to the very end of your project timeline, such as the sixth copy of the clip inserted here. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoy the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.